Well, this morning we were surprised to hear that we got power back in our building. We've been without power for two days. Uh, we did walk into a very hot building with no AC for the past three days, but we did put a firm start time for 12 o'clock and we're able to get all of the patients in the afternoon called, notified, and told to come in, as well as some of the patients in the morning. She's got 13 patients. We'll you know, during and after a disaster, it is important that patients and, and people have access to their health care provider, whether it be they've run out of medication, they've encountered new problems, sometimes even just the stress of being in that situation. Having access to the health care provider is really vital. My biggest concern that I had uh, for the storm for my patients was just access to their medications. And so my main focus at this point is to try to get in touch with whoever needs assistance right now with getting insulin or other kind of medical supplies to make sure that they're not going without. It is a blessing. <laughs> it's, it's a blessing to be here for my appointment. We are here, we're now we're fully functional and ready to go. We're here to help in, in any situation. You know, we understand all of the things that can come up during these kinds of disasters that are unexpected health-wise and medical-wise. And we, we wanna be here and we've worked really hard to be able to be here as a presence for the community to have access to.